Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am pretty excited for this video because it's going to be indie makeup releases and I'm going to talk about all the new makeup releases from the past week or so. I like to start off by talking about a lot of indie, mostly indie, and then at the end if there's any mainstream releases that particularly caught my interest, I'll talk about those. So this video series is inspired by Angelica Nikas and Samantha March, so I will have both of their channels linked down below, as well as all the Instagram accounts I use for the information for this video, and also the community Will I Buy It playlist in case you want to watch some more of these and binge watch them. The playlist is down there so you can find some more creators and have a good old time. So let's just go at actually wait. Wait, before we jump in, I did want to say something really quickly. I've definitely recommended the Cine Grace Loose Highlighter in the shade Pink Lightning quite a few times, but I just thought I would take a moment to show you guys how amazing this highlighter is. I have had this full face on except for lipstick. I just applied lipstick now, but everything else I have had on for almost 10 hours and no, no reapplication, no touching up, absolutely nothing. And look at the highlight. 10 hours later... The highlight is still living its best life so I feel like I should do a foundation routine because this is what's in my like, every single day makeup bag that I keep like away from all of this because this is in my basement in like a back room and like whenever I need to do my makeup on the go real quick and I need to do something that I know is going to last I have a specific makeup bag with all of that and that's what I have on my face right now but specifically this highlighter I'm not normally like a loose highlighter kind of person but Cine Grace Pink Lightning is everything if you have more like a fair light skin tone I cannot recommend it enough. I just thought I would take a moment and talk about it for a second because it's probably that and Ofra Pillow Talk would be probably my top two favorite highlighters. That's kind of hard to say because I'm not good at picking favorites, but it's really, really good. So now let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Got some caffeine because I'm literally dying. I'm so tired. Okay, so we've got quite a few things to talk about today, but first off, I just want to start off with something that I've talked about quite a lot, but I figured I would go ahead and mention it really quickly today, just in case, because I promised that I would announce whenever this was available. So this is the Certify Affinity 2 palette. It is stunning, blues, greens, everything you could possibly want. I did purchase this already, but I just wanted to let you all know that it is available for pre-order now. I believe it does not ship till April 18th, which is pretty crazy, but last time the pre-order for the original Affinity, the owner ended up sending it out before the date that she had promised just because she didn't want to have like disappointments so she surprised people and had everything done before Christmas so I'm hoping maybe that'll happen again this time it'll come a little bit early but regardless I just knew I really really loved the palette so just wanted to throw that out there in case you were waiting to see for this to become available um, it definitely is a little bit expensive buying just the one palette and the shipping and everything it's and the conversion from pounds to dollars in my opinion, it, it ends up being like a $45 palette or something like that, so it's a lot, um, but I think it is beautiful and I have liked everything else I've tried from Certify, and they are also, actually I'll say this too really quickly, they are available on Beauty Bay now, which is really exciting. The newest palette is not, but a lot of their other palettes are, so I'll make sure to leave that link down below too in case you want to check it out because I know you can get different shipping rates and whatnot, you can do, you can do a lot through Beauty Bay, so I thought that that was really cool. All right. Next is a new little um, collection from Lana Beauty Cosmetics, which is an Australian indie brand, and these are their pigment and glitter bundles. So I kind of really like the idea of this. They have them all in, like, color families. There's, like, the green one, Calls to My Heart, and then there's, like, a pinky purple one, the blues, and then some neutrals, and then some really bright ones, and each set has a mixture of pigments and glitters. I think that there is one set that's all glitters, if I'm not wrong, and you can buy... The entire bundle, all four of them, for $26, like one bundle is $26 um, Australian dollars or $18.50 US dollars. And then you can also buy each individual container for seven Australian dollars or five US dollars, which I think the pricing is pretty good. And I like the idea of this, especially if you're like me and you like monochromatic things and you just tend to stick towards one color sometimes. I think that this sounds really, really nice. Do I need any more pigments and glitters in my life? No, but I like the idea of it. All right, so next, I don't know why, I feel like I'm out of breath. I feel like I'm pregnant again. I'm not pregnant again. I don't know why I just said that. I just, whenever I was pregnant, I literally, like, was out of breath all the time. Like, there, don't worry. There's, there's no way. No. It's not happening. Ooh, no, no more children. I just started sleeping through the night again. 
Okay, so next, Tater Rounds Beauty released a few different green eyeshadows. I'm loving that everyone is releasing green things for St. Patty's Day. So these are five different loose eyeshadows. So they do come in like um, in a jar with a sifter. And they are really, really beautiful. Like the shade Grunge is everything. Like I love the tones of that. And I think that all, overall, all five of these shades look really, really beautiful. I just personally don't reach for loose eyeshadows so it's not something I could see myself using but they are pretty affordable they're $5.95 each and they do look really really beautiful all right next is a new palette from the makeup shack and it is called the rainforest palette and this definitely caught my attention because it is a colorful palette and it has a lot of nice shades in it there's some greens it, I mean it's essentially a rainbow palette but it does seem to have a little bit more depth to it but the reason this caught my attention is because it is only $12.99 I feel like that is crazy cheap and affordable and ridiculous like $12.99 for that huge palette and I've heard good things about the Makeup Shack formula so I feel like it's one of those times like I wouldn't buy it I wouldn't buy it myself but I would be curious to see what other people think about it for $12. If that's like a really good rainbow palette, like you can't beat that. All right, next. These are so beautiful. These are new blushers from Jordan Jordana Ticia Cosmetics, which looks to be a brand in the UK. Actually, wait, let me creep on them for a second. I just want to see, do they sell, are they cruelty free? Hmm. Search mink. <laughs> No results found. Yes. Okay, cruelty free. Okay. All right. And they have hashtag cruelty free. So these absolutely look so, so beautiful. And these are supposed to be like that perfect, like, I, from what I saw, like that, like blushing into the highlighter kind of like ombre when the, the entire cheek is glowing, kind of like, kind of how I imagine like Natasha Nona blushes kind of do like that, just like all over glowy ombre, like just perfect blush look and so these look really really beautiful I was definitely intrigued by them especially the lighter two shades but I know I don't need any more blushes but I do really really like the idea of this and I've been getting more and more into really really glowy blushes and just glowy products all around like today the only matte thing on my face other than lipstick because I applied that like just now but like brow was matte and I, I applied a little bit of under eye powder and everything else was either like glowy or satin or metallic. So I definitely think this is right up my alley. And I'm curious to see if anyone reviews them or talks about them because I really haven't heard that much about this brand before. But they look stunning. All right. Next is another really, really beautiful release. And this is just a single highlighter from Vanessa's Vanity. And it is called Wild Butterfly. And you guys can probably tell from the picture that this is stunning. Like, it is one highlighter. And in, like, some lights it looks gold. Some lights it looks bluey purple. There's, like, a pinky greeny shift. Like, it just looks stunning. And it's, like, this beautiful, like, multi-chrome highlighter. I think it sounds beautiful. The pressing on it looks beautiful. I have bought some highlighters from Vanessa's Vanity in the past. And when you get them... It's like an experience because they literally look like works of art. It's crazy how beautiful they are. And I do really like the formula and I really, really like this color. So it's not something I could see placing a single order for, but perhaps one day if I were to make an order from Vanessa's Vanity and I needed free shipping or, you know, I just, I, I really do like this. I think it looks super, super unique. I don't really have anything like this that I can think of like all these different colors in one highlighter and I think that would be beautiful on the inner corner so I do I do really like the idea of this all right next is just like the tiniest little amount of information but it is still super super exciting so Juvia's Place was answering questions the other day on Instagram and somebody said will we see um we'll, we'll see any Basically, they're asking if there is going to be any collabs, and the owner answered and said, yes, we have three scheduled collabs this year. Fingers crossed. I am so pumped. I'm so excited. Like, I'm excited for the collaborations. I'm excited for the product. I'm excited for whoever, like, the collaborator is, like, getting to work with Juvia's Place. I'm so, so excited about that, and I cannot wait to see who it is. So, I just thought I would share that really quickly, and I definitely, you know, I love Juvia's Place, so... 
I'm, re I'm ready. Okay, so next is three new highlighters from Sophia's Cosmetics, and these have already launched, and I think that they look really beautiful and metallic. Um, obviously, the shade that I am would be most drawn to is the white gold shifting shade, and I think that, I don't know, I think these look very, very metallic. They kind of look, they look, they kind of look like a thicker formula, so I am definitely a little bit curious, and I have not heard anything previously about Sophia's Cosmetics, so I think that these look nice, and it's um some pretty colors to start off with not anything like super unique or never been seen before but who knows the formula might speak for itself so i just thought i would mention that All right. okay so next is three new palettes from kaleidos cosmetics and the first one is the sci-fi green palette and this looks really nice i saw a lot of people hating on this and i actually like this one i think it looks pretty um it has like a mixture of warm tones and green tones However, this definitely feels very, very similar to the Milk Cosmetics Gemini palette, which I do already own, so I don't see this having any room in my collection, although I do like the idea of it, and I like the packaging. The packaging is pretty fun and interesting. Um, and then they also have the Cyber Bronze palette, which I think is actually really pretty. It's got some really warm tones, and then like a bright red metallic, a bright silver metallic, and a bright like rosy like rose gold kind of metallic -y shade so I think that this does look nice although this one doesn't speak to me as much I like the colors but it's not something I'm like ooh, I need that and then last but not least is the astro pink palette and I do really like this one um, I think I like this one the best I like the packaging there's some warm shades and then there's like a really light metallic pink there's a bright matte pink a metallic blue and a metallic black. I don't know why I feel like I'm struggling so much to talk right now. It's probably because I'm so exhausted, but I do really like this particular palette. I don't see myself purchasing any of them because they do sell mink lashes, um, but I do think that they look really, really pretty, and I am honestly kind of obsessed with the packaging. I think the packaging is very, very eye-catching and kind of inspiring in all the different tones together. I think it looks really, really nice, so definitely caught my eye okay so next enchanted luster cosmetics is releasing new pressed creme de la chrome pigments and these are basically just multi-chrome eyeshadows they're going to be 12 50 dollars each and 12 50 dollars 12 dollars and 50 cents each i don't know what's wrong with me today but these do look really really beautiful and they are all just different multi-chromes and i feel like everyone's coming out with multi-chromes right now um and they all look really really beautiful i will say these these kind of have like a little little up like um what's the word for that when someone has a little just a little bit more than something else the other hand the upper hand or the upper hand I don't know if that's exactly what I meant to say but it kind of works they have the upper hand a little bit in my mind just because I really like names and I feel like creme de la chrome just sounds so cool to say like okay let me just take this creme de la chrome pigment I'm I don't know I really really am very passionate about names so I do like that I know it's just a silly little detail, but definitely think these are beautiful. Not that I need any more. All right, next is from Andy Candy Makeup, and he is releasing a Sugar High Light Palette. Sugar High Light Palette. I think that's so punny. Again, the name Sugar High Light. Like, I just, I thought that was hilarious, and I've seen this palette before, but whenever I saw it this time and I realized, like, high, sugar high, I don't know, it just, it hit me, and I, I just thought it was amazing. So, as always, the packaging on this is super, super cute, and I think that the different colors look really cool. Um, they definitely look interesting in the pan here. They have, like, a, the yellowy-pinky mix, a really true, like, whitey-yellow shade, and then the purpley-white mix. Um, I did see Pop Lux use this palette, and it looked like maybe he must have, like, swatched the shades and, like, swirled them together or something. I don't know, because they looked to be more all of one shade rather than like this so I'm not sure how they'll be or what they'll swatch like I don't know whenever I see a bunch of shades in one pan it kind of confuses me and I'm like I don't know what to expect out of this um but I do think that this looks really pretty okay next is a little sneak peek from Luxie Beauty they will be releasing 20 new matte shadows I believe it's on 322 so before the end of this month and I feel, I feel torn on this one because 
part of me is like, yes, that's amazing. So excited. Luxie's really seeing some more shadows. Love Luxie's shadows. And they come out with a lot of beautiful colors. And they have sneak peeked a picture before of some of the new matte shades. And I think that they're supposed to be reformulated as well because they are doing it through a lab now or something along those lines. That's what I understood from watching one of their lives. So half of me is like, yes, like this is awesome. Can't wait to see what they do. And then the other half is like, <laughs> I can't make another purchase. Like I can't, I can't, I, I'm trying not to buy any makeup and they're just tempting me again because they released a bunch of metallics this last week and I kind of decided to mix it up a little. I'll explain it later. I'll explain everything I decided to do in my life later, but <laughs> I'm definitely like, mm. Mm, I wish they would, I kind of wish they would have released them at the same time instead of having to make separate orders, but yeah, I'm torn. I'm torn on how I feel about it. Like half of me is like this girl, I'm like dope, and then the other half is like, nope, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm gonna be broke. Not really. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm sticking to my rules, but there's so many good things coming out, so I'm curious to see what all the colors are going to be. All right. Next, Sydney Grace Cosmetics is going to be releasing six new cream eyeshadows, and I've heard so many good things about their cream shadows, and these two shades that I've seen so far look really beautiful, especially the light blue. I love that so much. The shameful thing here is that I do have one of their cream shadows. I just have not tried it yet, and it's like this beautiful blue-green shade, so I really, 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 really need to put that on my eyeballs and eyelids and see if I like it. Um... But it is exciting that they're expanding the line because I have heard a lot of people rave about them. Okay, next is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics and they are going to be releasing six new matte single shadows very soon. And these are definitely an interesting pairing. Like there's some nice springy tones here. I think cute and khakis is like a really nice color. And then low battery, like that looks like a really, really nice bright red. So I think that these look nice, but def it's not enough for me to make a purchase yet. I am... Seriously interested in trying from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, but I'm still waiting for the perfect opportunity, um, and this is not it, unfortunately. Um, okay, I think that is every... Wait, wait, no. I have one more indie brand to talk about today, and this is from Persona Cosmetics. So they reveal that they are coming out with a new lip product, which is glosses, and they are going to come in three shades, $16 each, $36 for the bundle, nourishing, high shine, non-sticky, comfortable formula. That sounds amazing, and it's also it seems to have a lot, a lot of different really good ingredients, and they are all three nude shades. I love a good nude shade. I love a good nude gloss. So this seems right up my alley and I really, really want to try something from Persona Cosmetics. I'm definitely interested to see what the reviews are on this. I know that Samantha March did receive this as PR and she was wearing one the other day and she seemed to like it from what I can remember. I can't remember what if I watched the entire Instagram story. I'm honestly a mess right now, but I really trust her opinion, so I'm excited to see what she ends up thinking about the different lip glosses, but I think that this is exciting, and they seem to be doing... I like that they have been doing not a lot of releases, but it feels like just small releases here and there. Like, they do, like, three lip glosses, three liquid lipsticks, like, two little eyeshadow bundles, and it feels like they're not, like, overwhelming people, like, the way that some brands are, like, constantly, like, dun, 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 and it's, like, these full entire collections, like, every single week. So I like the time management of their collections, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now moving on to mainstream releases, I actually only have three to talk about. So first is a new palette from Kat Von D, and it's kind of crazy. I didn't even realize it's released. I had to go back onto the Trend Mood page, and when I was going through, I saw it, and I was like, ooh, what's that? And then I saw it, and I was like, oh, okay, because I literally saw no one, literally no one talk about this palette. So this is called the Vegan Love Palette, and personally, the color scheme doesn't do anything for me. It's kind of half neutrals, half colors, um, the swatches look pretty. They look fine, but I don't really actually wait. The swatches on the fingers look pretty. The swatches on the hands or the arm looks a little bit sheer. So I don't really feel like the color scheme is doing much, but I do like that it says that for, for every palette sold, 20% of the retail price will go to... Wow, I screenshot it and took the rest off. I, wanted, I think it was supposed to go to animals or something, but let me go back and check Treadmood because I obviously wasn't paying attention to where I screenshot. Okay, it says 20% will go to 
Mercy for Animals, an international nonprofit organization dedicated to preventing cruelty to animals. So I think that is really nice and like doing something good with the palette and I'm always here for donations and helping others and helping animals. So I think that seems nice. I mean, I'm personally not buying from Kat Von D, but I, I like the vegan love theme. All right, next is the new Elf and Jay Kissa collaboration. I had quite a few questions on how I felt about this, and I just missed it last week, like right when I was editing the video. She did the um, premiere for her video talking about what it was and revealing the collection, and I think that this looks really, really nice, and it's super affordable. I think the palette is beautiful. I like the different colors. I th feel like it's fun, but it makes sense, and it's still unique, and it has brushes, and or like a double-sided brush and I feel like there's a lot you could do with this um the thing is though I think if I wasn't on a low buy I would probably and have ended up buying the box set I think I definitely would have but because I am on a low buy I'm I'm not buying it um I'm trying to remember a makeup struggles video talking about how you can support a creator without buying their collaborations I will say though that I am in particular the most intrigued by the mascara because it kind of looks like the color of my hair and as a redhead I've always been curious like to just try like what it would look like if I did more of like a red warm mascara more like my hair color because my lashes are naturally orange not black I mean I normally go for blackest black but I don't know I thought that that would be really really interesting to try and do like super natural makeup and just see how I felt about it but the low buy the low buy I also think my mom would really really love that mascara because she always buys brown mascaras. She hates the look of black mascara. She's looking for the lightest brown possible, so I think maybe she would like a brownie red tone because she's also a redhead like me. Last but not least, this item is probably the most I have ever been tagged on Instagram for, and it is the new ColourPop, what's it called? <laughs> Just My Luck eyeshadow palette, and it is absolutely beautiful. So this is a full green palette, and literally on their email, it was like, you asked, like, no browns, no filler shades, only greens, and we got you. And I'm like, yes, 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 I'm so excited about this palette. It is nine green shades all together, and although I have been good, there's other been other palettes by ColourPop that have drew me in, like the purple palette I thought was really pretty, um, but I said no because I'm not the biggest fan of ColourPop's formula, but this, I feel like there's no monochromatic green palettes on the market that are all completely green. I just feel like this is so, so beautiful and it's so affordable. I could not help myself. I wanted to try it so bad, so this is one of the palettes I decided to try for the month of March, um, and I think it's stunning. I think it's absolutely beautiful, so... Yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. I think if I could change one thing, I would probably take away um, maybe the color 50-50 and I would move that row down a little bit and then add a like light green to white or white to green duochrome inner corner highlighting shade. That's my personal preference. That's the only thing that I feel like is really missing here. But that's okay. I have plenty of those as singles. I'll probably just add into this and use it with the palette. But Overall, I think it's really, really beautiful. I actually did get my shipping information for this palette a little bit earlier today, so trust me, as soon as I get it, you will be seeing it on my channel because I love this so, so much, and I guess the part, like, the best part about this to me is definitely the fact that it is so affordable. I think I, I think I ended up paying, like, $19 because the $5 coupon codes weren't working. Um, I got charged tax, which I never have before. I paid for shipping because I didn't want to spend any more money to buy and buy other products. I wanted to just buy only one thing. And then um, I, I didn't want to wait and see if I could find a different code because I was like, what if it sells out? It still has not sold out. So I ended up paying the, the full $19 for it when it's a $12 palette, but that's fine. That's totally fine. It's still super affordable in my opinion. So I think this is great, especially for someone who wants to get into green tones, but you're scared. Like the best time I think to try new things would be when you don't have to spend as much money to try them because it's like, you see this palette, if it was like $50, I mean, I would still be into it, but for someone who's not as loving of greens or who doesn't know how they're going to feel or like that's a little bit too much out of your comfort zone, but I feel like the price difference will make a big difference. So 
I feel like this being affordable is really, really awesome. I was actually tempted to buy this and the purple palette at the same time and do that specifically just to get free shipping um, because I hate paying for shipping more than anything, but the purple palette was sold out. So I was like, whatever, I'll just pay for shipping. And then like two days later, the, pur the purple palette and the green palette are in stock at the same time. So that's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It's all good. Um, but I am really, really excited about this and thank you so much to everyone who tagged me on it. I think that's so much fun and seeing what you guys are excited about. So I think this is really, really beautiful. All right. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you are excited about for this week or what did not catch your eye at all. I would love to hear your thoughts on the releases and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.